so that we define it, so that we get a clear particular core replaced from the three ligands. So for example, if I am taking ABC ligand, I want to join all together, which I want to make it as C. I can't simply join all together and say C. There should be some active compound or existing compound which I want to find out which link can be made similar. So that's how I will be showing a demo here which is like around 5 minutes. It will show you exactly how it is getting linked. So the process starts from the fragment creation which goes to the query definition and goes finally for linking. So when you go for query definition, the chemist should synthesize this particular compound. When chemist should synthesize, the database that you are considering should be an active compound, a known active compound. So this is how, uh, now next is some examples which shows how it is being linked and how it is being merged. So this is the first one where I want to replace this particular code where the other functional or R groups I am making it stable, I can change this. Next is fragment linking. I am having only the uh, functional groups of R. I want to link all together. That's what I meant. Three different fragments and I am trying to link. I mean three different ligand R groups. I want to link it with a single code. This is called fragment linking. And next is fragment growing. I am having a single R group or any functional group with applying forbidden and inclusions and applying the inch and code. So this is also possible. This is all possible if you have a knowledge space. If you don't have a knowledge space, it is not at all possible. Now we are giving a default knowledge space which you can't edit it. But later on I told you by now we are introducing a new um, GUI where you can do your own stuff to create a knowledge space. And here comes with a merging. Here I have one particular fragment. Next this fragment. I want to see whether, where or which region it can be joined or merged. I can't merge it here because I want to find out or it can be have a patent problem. So I will try to find out an alternate place or alternate link from the knowledge space where I can bring it here with having the same link so that these three can be interlinked. So that's how the two fragments can be merged. So that's why we say linking, merging and growing. So these are some examples. This is actually uh, the particular Example that I want to explain to you that is this ligand is taken from this particular crystalline structure, I mean crystal structure, and next one, this color, pink color from next crystalline and yellow color from next crystalline. So finally, taking all these three different ligands from three different crystal structures, I am able to merge all three together, making this ring stable, this particular ring stable, and this yellow ring stable. Only the middle core part I have linked it. So there are three different compounds, I linked it in this region. So that's how it works. How it can be done, that is the next thing. Because this is being validated by some of the agendas, because for Alzheimer's disease, base is a beta receptase enzyme inhibitor, which they have worked out for this ligand, with the same package. So this defines a link, outlink, so that we want to define the exit vectors. Here I am saying the exit vector so that this will be stable. Here I am defining the exit vector this will be stable and this point this will be stable. The only portion it gets linked from the different uh, ligands or different compounds will be this particular area. So that the core part is being replaced or core part is being linked in order to link or uh, merge all the other three ligands. So after doing this particular process, we can never say they are three different ligands. They are all together. So this is how it happens. I just uh, move on with the slides. So these are the three ex the exit vectors that are defined. And this is how it is being joined or merged depending upon the exit vectors and the pharma constraints that we have defined. So this is by placing it within the protein or the particular defining site, I mean the binding site, we are trying to place it according to the shape, I mean the geometries. So finally we found this will be the apt one which can fit into that particular binding site. So this is how it works out. So next thing is, we want to uh, have an inclusion with the smarts telling that we should have an aromatic uh, linker should be there present within that particular merger. So that is a constraint that we are telling only chemists can define that particular constraint. When you define that, you can see a modification that happened from this particular link. So when I am telling, this was a normal thing without applying any of the features, 
after applying an aromatic feature, I am able to get a different aromatic ring here. So that is a constraint that I have applied. So that I didn't get one as the solution, I got the second one as a solution. So that's why we say, we never say the first one is the best one. The validation is very important here. Okay, this is just, I'll show you how it works out. Five more minutes, sir? Okay, fine, no issues. That's enough. So this is a demo that which shows how we pick up the uh, compound and which, uh, which particular compound and where we are defining the exit vectors and where it is being taken over. So we have taken a protein compound with the receptor site and we can see this, this is the particular pocket. So we try to place the ligand there and try to do a merging later on. So here we are trying to load about three ligands at the same binding site which we have already docked. And we want to find whether these three ligands can be merged together by using this particular program. So here we have loaded actually three of the ligands to this process. Now we want to define the exit vectors so that that will be stable and we want to join all together by a core group, core, um, I mean a fragment. So that these three different ligands will be joined. Finally we call it as a single ligand. So this is only to escape the particular patenting. This is the process that takes place. You can see the exit vector that has been defined and then finally what it does, it goes for a change in the particular um, fragment and it says and can be merged. So here we uh, define the aromatic sphere where we define that this is very important, this shouldn't be removed from the core. So by depending upon this particular feature, it tries this non space and replaces the core. That's how it happens. So, here we can't say there is a politics between the modeler and the chemist because chemist who does this particular thing so that the linking can be done where he has a constant that this can be synthesized. So that is the uh, fragment based approach that we are doing here. And so that's what I am telling you late by 2009 docking plus this particular fragment based merging will be clubbed together so that you won't be having any difficulties to have a different approach. So that uh, I suggest you also so that your program also should have a docking facilities so that it will be very easy for you to go for a validated result. So final summary is that scaffold refinement, fragment ligand growing, merging and linking of the fragments. It's totally a fragment based approach and that's it and I acknowledge all these people and I'm so thank you because I won't rush up, there is a limitation of timing, so that's the reason I've gone very fast. So thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Grinard. It was a very nice presentation. So I encourage uh, each one of you to interact with him for a better demonstration, something like that. So I want, uh, means, you know, I have one question from uh, audience. Just one question. We can't expect the synthetic feasibility because we are cons we are considering only the constraints. That is a format of our constraints. So can it, be, it can be a direct hydrophobics or a normal interaction. So when it goes, even if you link, even if you have a super molecule, when it is not able to synthesize. No, that's that's a question here because Roche and uh, Sanofi Evans have proved that it can be synthesized. We are not proved. No, are there are chances of synthesis, but there are also chances like it can. It can sure, all softwares will have its own merits yeah. and demerits. Yeah. Uh, they can never say. Well, that uh, option, that's what I... That's the reason. Because we have not done the validation. Validation is done by Roche and by uh, some of you this. We never say our software is best because we have not done the validation. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Girinath. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, let us... Uh, yeah, just a minute. Um, actually, we are looking for a people, freshers. We don't want any experienced people. <laughs> it is only for the ex uh, fresher people. So, those are MSc chemistry or uh, bioinformatics we are looking for the people including the firm but they should have a computational approach that is within their curriculum. Okay, it's a good opportunity for youngsters to interact with him to get a job, okay?